Hi, John here. Uh, today's Thursday, the 19th of October 2017. As you can see, I've got my tester on and I'm going to do a reading again. That's my Fitbit was 58 time 504 AM. Oxy 6197 on the left finger 5297. And on the right fingers, 5597, 5597. The blood pressure clocked out, cut out at 214. And then my reading was 155, 90, 58. Now I'm going to take a second reading on there, there, and on my Fitbit. So just to show you. So I'll start with my Fitbit. It's 63, just climbed up a little bit. 63. I'll just do this little exercise that I normally do. Write it down. Fitbit. Fitbit. I'll just do another one. Sixty-three. Went up a little bit. Um, time five ten. Time five ten. This day. October. This is what I normally do. Then I put it on my finger, first one, and I'll show you the reading. Show you the reading. You can see it's going up. Not relaxed enough, that's why. Jump around all over the place. Sixteen ninety seven. Sixty ninety seven. That's on the oxymeter. Oxy, left finger, second finger. Second finger. See it now, you can see it freaking up. See, so it's not bad. 6197. 6197. And now the right finger. Right finger. There. And it's time 1697. 1697. Right, 1697. And then the second finger on the right. And I'm not coughing now, pretty good. Coming right. I had a good sleep. Went to sleep ten o'clock. Got up at four thirty. Sixty-two ninety-seven. That's not bad. Sixty-two ninety-seven. Fitbit sixty. That's not bad. Sixty. Fitbit. Sixty. Now we're going to go on to the thumb bit here. I'll just put it here. Tighten it up a bit. I'll have to do it for a minute before I take a second reading. There. On the vessel, it's going through there. Now we're going to watch this here. here. Sorry about all the mess around me. I'm a bit of a messy guy. It's got a clock out at 136, 208. It clocked out at 208. That's too high. Right pressure, cut out. 208. 
to the other egg. She's going down now. I can see it's going down. Oh, hell. It went all wrong. I'm not supposed to move. Damn it. Can't see it. Oh, I'll have to do it again. Gosh. I'm not supposed to move. Can't see the real oh Let's go. Okay, I'll have to start again. Snooping um, around all over the place. I'm going to wait a minute now for this. This is the third reading I'm having. Gosh. Don't put it as tight. Okay, right. Wait for that to settle down again. I'll do one more reading. It's awkward to see. Move this thing around and it goes off. Oh yeah, I can see it. I want to show you. I want to show you so you can see. Okay, right. I'll put this. I'll put this right in all the readings down, see. So there, there's my readings. Today, here. Thursday, 19th of October, I slept well, enough, drink water, and I wake up, Fitbit 58, I'm just killing time, time 5.04 a.m. Oxy, on the left fingers, 61.97, 52.97, 55.97, 55.97, that's the right finger there, and the left fingers there, two fingers. Blood pressure cut out at 214, 155, 90, 58. That's, it, it usually knocks out about 180. Uh, take a second reading. Uh, Fitbit 63, time 510, Tuesday, 19th of October. 1697, 6197, the right 1697, 6297, Fitbit 60, cut out 208, still too high, it cut out at 208, but I don't know, I'm not it up. So what I'll do is, I'll just take a Fitbit reading, 16, yeah it's 60, time, Five sixteen, five sixteen a.m. Right now I'll do this one. So what's this one now? Where did the reading? Gah, can't even see. Okay. Too hard. Oh man, too high. Two hundred and one. Gosh, it's going too high. Oh, one. It's coming down now. Let's see where it cuts out. It's gone too high. It's usually one hundred and seventy-five. It's taking higher readings, which is okay. Yeah, 151, 159. Oh, the pulse is down. 151, 159. So normal is 147, 85, 65. So the pulse is low now, but the systolic is, is 151, <coughs> that's 4 above, that's not too bad, 100, that's a little bit high on the pressure coming back to the heart. And uh, over here, I take this off now, take this off, it 
usually cuts out, I'll, I'll just run back through some of the other readings and to see the difference, what happened. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what happened. Now, uh, that's 151. The last time it cut out it was 155, 90, 58. So the blood pressure is steady, but the, this is the systolic is the first reading on this machine. And the systolic is that one. There's systolic here. Systolic. Uh, and the diastolic is that one, 100. So when we go back to Wednesday at 9.42, the fifth bit was 64. The oxy on the left, 62.97, 63.97. The right finger, 63.97. Oops, oh here, 63.93, 7. Cut out at 187, 130. You see the difference? It cut out at 187, whereas this one is cutting out at 201 and 214. So, cut out at 187 is 130 over 83 over 59. Now you see, 147 is the average of below. Yesterday it was below, 9.42 in the morning. 83 is below, it's 85 is normal, and 65 is the normal blood pulse, it's 59 is below. So the Fitbit was 64, that was Wednesday at 9.42 a.m. So here we go, that's, that's just telling you um, that the, the reading was lower, and I've just woken up just now, and the reading is a bit higher. Um, I think in proportion to um, the knockout here, three, three to here, um, 17, these are 17 pressure higher, you get a higher reading. So here, three above, four above, that reading over here, 187, three, four above, came out to this reading, 150, 159. So, um, let's go back here, it cut out, See, it cut out at what was the date was this? Uh, Thursday, the 17th. Uh, oops, October. This, what am I doing? Thursday, what's today? Thursday today? Yeah, Thursday today. Was this supposed to be Wednesday? Tuesday, it's supposed to be. Oh, that's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Tuesday, 17th, the left was 94, 96, that was high on the, the, the pulse meter on this one, it was high, and 17, 97, the right one was 90, 93, and 88, 99, it cut out at 180, look, look what's happening, 131, look, 80, 85. It's really low, but the pulse was high, but the blood pressure was low. It was low below average, 55 to Fitbit, at 2.51 p.m. in the afternoon. So you see it varies. Now look over here. Um, same day. Uh, 214. Cut out. Fitbit 73 higher. 186, 182, 81, you can see that when it knocks out higher, it's going to get a higher reading. Cut out again, 212, 165, 99, 74, still high. Um, so, hang on, we'll go back to um, here. Tuesday the 17th, this was at... Um, 6.20 a.m. in the morning, right, this was similar, 6 a.m. in the morning. Um, 
I'll just go straight for this one. Cut out 196, 147 bang on, and 92, just a bit higher, and 64 bang on. See? So the blood pressure going from the heart was 147, cut out 196. 192, leaving the heart, going out from the, oh, coming back to the heart, was a little higher, 5, 7 higher. Times is 20 p.m. fit bit 64 normal. Normal. Right, I'm just telling you, I'm just going back through my readings. Monday, 16th of October, fit bit 62, normal. That's the fit bit there. Okay, time 10, 56 p.m. in the evening, left finger oxy, 63, 94, 64, 97, right finger, so these two are the left fingers, I'll take a reading on this one first and then that one second, and then on the other side, right finger, 65, 97, 63, 97, right pressure cut out at 94, and we've got, uh, right pressure, Cut out at 194. We got 142 below. That's the blood pressure going from the heart. So there's nothing wrong with the blood pressure going from the heart. It's when it comes back from my head where the problem is. You see? So it should be 85. There's 10 above. So the pressure from my brain coming back to the heart is where the problem is. This is what the doctor can't figure out. I'm being my own doctor. 63 is below normal. So that's really good. Fitbit 65, bang on. Okay, that was at night time. I did well in the gym today. Ran on a treadmill. Okay, so we go back to Sunday. I'm just going through people just to show you that my body's fixing itself up. Fitbit 58, time 9.51 a.m. in the morning. Oxy 6397, this seems to be the normal. 6397, right, 6797, 6797. Cut out, blood pressure cut out. 191, 147, The blood pressure from the heart is normal. Bang on there. The blood pressure coming back to the heart, that's where the problem is. The arteries in my brain, where I've been telling the doctors for years, the problem is there. There it is. 76 and below average. See, 65 is the normal on the uh, pulse. So there you have it, people. 76 there. And here, 92. You see, 92, coming back from the heart, normal 47, right? I'm just telling you, these doctors have got it wrong. Um, 186, higher, high, high, because the blood pressure cut out at 241, too high. I did this in, in Maggie's clinic. The acupuncture and the uh, cupping and blood lily, she's very good. But it went right up to 241, that came out. So I did a second test, 212, cut out 65, 165, 99, 34. So that's a bit be above. Um, but the blood pressure is still high coming back from the to the heart. Um, here, we come down to here, 137 below, look, 80 below, 85, high, high pulse, high pulse, good high pulse, means lower, it's 85 is the normal here, on the diastolic, 130. 31, that's below, the 147 is average. So you see, I can now see, report to you, that the blood pressure coming back to the heart is high. 
because that just tells me that the problem is on the vessels coming back from the brain to the heart where I'm saying the thumping is that these bloody doctors are useless by this can't tell. 100, you see, it's high. 185, 85, 15, 85, 15 high. That's 147, 3, 4, see. The blood pressure from the heart is perfect. That's what they did on a test on me, on an on a ultrasound test. That They said my heart was nothing wrong with it, and the arteries didn't stretch. They were looking normal. So there we have 147, bang on, 85. <coughs> <coughs> That's normal. <coughs> Let's go back. Let's go back. Um, go back a bit further. Saturday. Here's Saturday. The 14th of October 2017. Here, look, 132. Right, that's below average. It's 147, uh, 2, um, 8, 15 below the 147. The heart returning is below. The blood pressure is below. You see, now I'm, now I'm looking to see what I've been eating how much rest I have, I'm starting to write that down now, to see why this reading here, Fitbit's 59, 6, 15 a.m. in the morning of Saturday the 14th of October 2017, <coughs> why this reading was so low. That's without medication. So Friday the 13th of October, Time 10.20 p.m. Fitbit 61, normal. Oxy 62, 93. 61, 93. 60, 93. 58, 95, normal. Blood pressure cut out at 182. Now my readings were 123, 77, 58. That's below. Way below. And this one's way below. 77. 8 below. So the heart was working properly on this day, on this day, Friday the 13th of October 2017. The blood pressure knocked out at 182, 123, 77, 58, way below. Why is that? That's what I'm trying to, I'm going to make a graph. I'm going to make a graph just to show you what's going on. Why is my body changing all the time? It's all the work I do on that computer that's the problem. Because it goes up as soon as my brain starts ticking. Friday the 13th of October, 55 normal time, 4.22 a.m. in the morning. Oxy 62, 94 normal, 62, 96 normal, 58. 96 normal, 57, 87 normal, 191, but pressure cuts off, that, that machine cuts out, but it pumps up and then bangs off, 131, 84, 54, below, and six, Fitbit 66, just one above, 65 normal, time off, 427 AM, look at this reading, look, this is the heart normal, when it's 147, 85, and 65, normal. Look, I'm below. Why? This is with no medication. Thursday, 12th of October 2017. Time 2.07pm. Fitbit 65, that's normal. Left fingers, 67, 97, 67, 97, 83, 81, 69, 97. Cut out at 182, 143 below, 83 below, 67 just slightly higher on the pulse by 2. Fitbit 65 normal. Look at that. Look at, look at what I'm showing you. I'm showing you what the doctors are drumming me up with medication to bring the blood pressure down, then here it is sitting below. 
Just without the damn stuff. Wednesday, 11th of October 2017. Fitbit 56, that's below. 65 norm. 6.57 a.m. Oxy left, 60.96 normal. 60.97. 57.93, that's normal. 120, 192, the blood pressure cut out. That's our machine. That. Then I get 138 below. That's 9 below. 85, 1 below. 61, 4 below. What the hell's going on here, nurse? Fitbit 59. Below, 6 below, times 7 a.m. What's going on here? Nurse Jacinta Ryan and Gopi Naya, doctor, what's what's wrong? What's up with you guys in Odohuhu? Tuesday, the 10th of October, 2017. Look what I'm doing. I'm doing this. Time, 8.24 p.m. in the evening, six, Fitbit 63, 2 below, Oxy, left, 68.90, not bad, 60.92, um, that's normal, 62.90, 62.92. This machine cut out at 193, when it pumped up, 124, look, this is 6.30, 26 below. 147, 147, 3, um, 147, 122, 4, it's 43 below, you see, 43 below, 75, 10 below, this is the heart pressure going out is lower, but 43, Oh, 147, hang on, by 2, 20, 23, below, and 75, 10, below, and 62, 3, below. What the hell's going on with these doctors? Time, 9.28 p.m. in the evening, Fitbit 63, 2, below. Tuesday, 10th of October 2017. Now here we go here. Time 5.34 a.m. Not feel good. Short breath. Fitbit 73. See this little high on the breath. Oxy 75. 92. That's a bit high. 60.92. Right. 60.92. 74. 97. A bit high there. 190 cut off. 144. Still below. By 3. 101 there, the pressure, there's the problem. There is the problem, people. I'm just showing you that the blood vessel coming back from my brain is blocked. That's where the problem is, the return to the heart. And it's making the pulse go up, 65, uh, 8 up. You see? Now, I'm a mechanic. <coughs> 73, 65, 6. Uh, 65, 5, 8 above. See? Time ended 5.38 a.m. in the morning. This was in the morning before eating anything. This whole thing, I woke up like that. You see? It's happening at night time when I'm sleeping. You see? Probably all the radiation from the uh, computer. This is without any medication for weeks. Right, here we go. Monday the 9th of October 2017. I'm showing you people, I'm fixing my own problem with these two little gadgets and this one. My Fitbit. I'll just see what my Fitbit says. See, it says 60, 61 there. Huh? 60, 62. When I start thinking too much, it goes up. Now, Monday, 9th of October, Oxy left, 64.92, 69, 69.92, a bit high, 6.97, 67.92, a bit higher, blood pressure cut out at 92, times 6.52 a.m., 
136 that's below um, 4 11 below 11 below that's the pressure going from the heart was working perfect but the pressure going back to the heart through the head back to the heart was up by 4 and the blood pressure blood pulse was 67.2 above so I'm just giving you a comparison <coughs> of what is happening here. Time 1.24 p.m. in the afternoon, so 50, 60. Now this is when I'm walking around doing some work. 9th of October. 74.97, that's higher, higher on oxy. 71.97 higher, 68.47 higher, 71.97 higher. Now the blood pressure is cut out. Yeah, 186. <coughs> that was high pulse. 145. Look, two below, but the pressure coming back to the heart is high. That just tells me now that the problem is right where I pointed to in my head at the back. The blood vessel coming back, not the one going up to my brain, it's the one coming back. That's where the blood was black. 91, that's 85. Six. Six high, six higher than the normal 85, and 68 the pulse is higher by three. That's not bad. <coughs> 1:25 p.m. We'll go back to here. I'm just showing you people what the doctors are doing to you. Sunday, 8th of October, 2017, Fitbit 65. Um, 10:35 a.m. in the morning. Oxy left 76 91 higher 95 92 higher left fingers right fingers 74 90 70 93 the pulse is high the blood pressure cut off at 203 look but the blood pressure leaving the heart to go up to the brain was three below but the pressure coming back to the heart was 15 above. That's the, there's the problem right there. That's 147 supposed to be. It's 144 below. The blood pressure from the heart is perfect. But the blood pressure coming back to the heart was high. That's where the blockage is. This is what the fucking doctors won't tell you. They won't tell you. I'm going to sue the buggers and build them for all this time. They have stuff me up full of medication to bring the blood pressure down when it's already down. I've been through this book with you just to show you and the world that the doctors are bullshit. They are bullshit because this machine is the same machine they use and my nurse tested it. Perfect. Those were perfect. This was perfect. Okay. It's, it's catching them out. I'm catching them out. And um, um, that was that reading. Okay, now here we go. Monday, oh, well, I've been through that one. I'm going backwards through the book. I'm going backwards through the book. Now, <coughs> 7th of October, Saturday. 60 on a Fitbit. Normal. Oxy, 62, 91. This is where I like the reading. 64, 91, not bad. 63, 90. 63, 91, not bad. Blood pressure cut out at 207, 152, that's a bit high, um, by 5, uh, 97, high by 12, and the blood pressure 66, 1 below, 65 normal. Here's the pressure, here's the problem. This is 5 going from the heart. Five, too high, but blood pressure coming back to the heart <coughs> is um, eighty-five. Five is twelve, too high. There, look, twelve, too high. There is the problem. Okay, have I said enough? I think I have. So, people. 
I've just done an exercise here just to show you that my heart is perfect it's my head where the problem is that's what I've been trying to tell these doctors and now these two machines and the one for my wrist coming was worth all the trouble in the world to fix yourself up for sixty dollars New Zealand dollars I fixed my own self up with its own body. So <coughs> I'm going back on my work soon. I've been doing a bit of work and this is where my you watch when I go on to my work my blood pressure goes up. There's the, I'm just doing the New Zealand government is facing oblivion from the Paramount Chiefs are gonna get stuck into them. Now I'm doing the, I'm doing the um, framing the laws, and I put it in the book in here, here, right? I'm doing this. I'm, I'm framing laws. Um, turn this thing off. I've got about 1,180 videos out now. That's a lot. Now I'm framing laws to take up to uh, Titi Marae, Waitangi, and I'm going up to Hokianga on, on um, the 24th, I think it's a Friday, I'm going up there till the 28th um, to frame these laws. One, sworn lies, court seal, no seal. Two, police, state, law, America. Three, police, no seal, John Key, corrupt. Four, liability of debt. Five, policies. Six, fraud, seven, corruption, eight, trade, nine, sovereign account debt, ten, bank, the Maui Powerhouse Bank, <coughs> eleven, <coughs> to build them, <coughs> eleven, tax business, more, twelve, tithes, that's the tithes, is the ten percent on the land against the people uh, leasing the lands. That's everybody. 13. Lease on land charge. 14. Military security. 15. Chemtrails. 16. Fracking. There's plenty of things to do as far as that's concerned with um, fixing this government up, government up and I'm holding them to account. The other thing is politicians. Retirement. Investigation. I'm going to investigate everything. Um, pension fund. I, I got the I got the the X in in this book. I'm I'm, I'm scanning the book. I'm I'm scanning the book. I'll show you in a minute. I'm scanning the book. I'm scanning this book here. I'll show you. I'll show you scanning the book. Oh, shucks, I switched it all off last night. Oh dear. I'm going to um, go find it. I'll show you what I'm doing. Scanning the book. Magistrate Court. There, there, there's, see, I'm scanning the book here, okay, these are the X, these are the X, I'm putting a front cover on it though, but I've left them without pages so I can add more pages to it, X checker bills, yeah? so, so I'll just show you, King William's X from 1830 to 1837, Benjamin Na, ya, Netanyahu and um, um, Ma, what's his name? Foreign Minister is finished now. They, they get in and get out and leave it in a mess. I forgot what that guy's name is. See, so there's the stamps. See, that's King William IV. Okay. 
these all the X I'm gonna I'm gonna be framing it all from over with the flag with our flag. It's got everything in there. August oh, I saw something on Sheriff. Sheriff of something. It's got all the X in here to stitch them up. Administration of Estates Act. 1833. See, everything's 1833. Right. Parliamentary birds. Some <coughs> superannuation act there. Superannuation act. See. Tithe titles. Supply act. City of London constables act. All these things. Grand Jury Island, right? Grand Jury Island, right? Municipalities Corporation Island Act 1836, right? Municipalities, right? See? See? Parliamentary elections. Creditors. Payment of Creditors Scotland Act 1836. Look, that's the one. You see. What's that one says? Pity. Something. Showing you. <clears throat> this is going on Facebook and on my website, moaipowerhouse.com. Um, <clears throat> Forgery Act, John Key. Forgery Act, there, yeah, right there. Yeah. Forgery Act, 1837, C84. That's one going right on his head. Grand Jury, Island Act, 1837C2. Right? You can see what I mean. The, the, I'll put this in pictures because you can blow them up in the court and read them. You can, you can blow them up. What I meant by blow them up means you can expand them like that. You see? To read. You see, I've been writing all this. I've been writing all this. Ernest Augustus, we swore our oath of office to on Friday the 15th of April 2016 in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Native Branch of Fact Court on YouTube video, cited fact evidence, and in open tent on Titi grounds next to Po Whenua Ancestral Memorials, 6th of February 2017 with a 21-gun salute on YouTube video, cited fact evidence. So you see, this is our manual for a native <coughs> Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court <coughs> over New Zealand and Pacific Islands. <coughs> I'm warning everybody, it is an offence for any of this material documents to be copied or illegally used. It is the ownership of the British UK Government, the Royal British Navy Military, the Freemasons, land certificates, births, deaths and marriages, certificates, instruments and other licenses, permits used by the British Crown King and Moai Crown King surrogate exclusively, effective immediately. It is released in the public arena, public, are online deemed to be legally enforceable only by Maui Crown and the British Crown Royal Navy and Military minus Queen Elizabeth II and her elite fraudulent corrupt family. There is a one trillion pound note contract on any man, woman or child who acts as a third party in this two party partnership private contract between King William IV and the Paramount Chiefs of today already established in Waitangi under a 21-gun salute in Admiralty Court Martial Law jurisdictions of British Royal Navy origins 
in William Yard, Devonport, Plymouth, England, Britain, UK. Horny Kaki Wano. That's my native real name. Male line dominant. Um, so there we go. We can blow it right up and read. And the X as well. When you go to a court, when we have our court, we just have the laptop. I send it to the judge up the front and he looks at the screen and picks out the X there, right? You can read them. So there's no need to say Tom font uh, because there it is. Forgery Act. Yeah, see? The Forgery Act, 1837. That's for John Key. Grand Jury Island Act, 1837. C2. That's for John Key. Lease making, etc. Scotland Act, and that's what I'm going to stick on these lands. We're going to stick lease on these lands and remove the government's acts. Municipal Rights Act, there we go, 81. This is King William III created all these municipalities with this eight point star that's on our flag. Municipal Corporations England Act, 1837. See, now you can read quite clearly. Forgery Act, right. You see? It's easy to do this. So it goes all the way through. I'm, I'm, I'm getting through the book. It takes a long time. Bank Notes Act, look, Bank Notes Act, people, look, Bank Notes Act 1833, C83, King William III created the bank notes, the pound notes that we have. We're using this act on our pound notes to make it legal. It is legal, but we are sticking to this. Bank of England Act 1833, C98, this gives us the Maui Powerhouse Bank title to use these acts because of our flag. The flag is the 1830 to 1837 and there's the 1833 sitting right in the middle of it. Okay, you got that? Administration of Estates Act 1833 C104. There we are. Administration of Estates Act. That's for the whole of New Zealand. <coughs> That's our, <coughs> our estates. <coughs> now, I want to show you this one. I want to show you this. The Sovereignty of New Zealand. Tahiti and New Caledonia in Pacific since this period tends to confirm the accuracy of the above rumour. Other curious circumstances revive uneasiness on this subject. On the 10th of March 1840, a highly favoured dispatch was received from Colonel Wakefield. This is when they switched all the Manukau company title in Britain with Tira Wakato in Manukau. Um, um, he's 1820 to 1830 um, com commercial contract, private contract with um, King George IV in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. <coughs> <coughs> That's when New Zealand was sold, the country, the whole country and the Pacific Islands was sold by that one chief and that formed the blueprint for all the native countries in the world on commercial contracts and banks. This drew public attention to some papers relating to Captain Hobson's appointment already laid before Parliament and several influential London merchants were surprised to find the ministers had not ordered that officer to proclaim Her Majesty's sovereignty over New Zealand. Not, see, not <coughs> ordered that officer to proclaim Her Majesty's sovereignty over New Zealand. Without delay, 115 bankers Merchants and traders, see, I put a policy around this, right? Bankers and merchants and traders of London called a public meeting at Guildhall on the 15th of April 1840 to consider the subject, and from the Assembly, petitions were sent to both Houses of Parliament, praying them to annex the New Zealand Islands, the British, the Britain of the South, to Her Majesty Dominions. This led to the appointment of a select committee of the House of Commons to collect evidence 
on the question and it was then asserted that Captain Cook took possession of the islands in the name of King George III in 1769 and that when New South Wales was declared a portion of the British Dominions in 1787, <coughs> these islands, although not named, were within the proclaimed boundaries as much as Norfolk Island, but that's certain, certain something had occurred, <coughs> sets had occurred since these events which prevented the Queen of England assuming the sovereignty. These were King William IV having addressed the New Zealand as an independent people in 1833, look, and having recognised the national flag in 1834. There we go. That's that flag. King William IV <coughs> recognised our flag as the national flag. And here we have it. King George III, 1769, the father of King William IV. Father of King William IV. It's on this 1833 um, independent people was on the Tucker 1833 British paper, not the American paper that the Australians had their um, Treaty Waitangi on, right? <clears throat> they had it on, they didn't have it on the Tucker paper. That's the proper printing paper approved by the British government. Having recognised the national flag in 1834, Captain James Reddy Clendon, 20th of March, 1834. That's our flag in the background over there. Okay, so I've got my hat on to keep my head warm. And I'm feeling pretty cool today. Um, uh, on Thursday, 19th of October, 2017, in Oiruhu, Auckland, New Zealand, here. <coughs> I've just given you an exercise on my heart condition. Absolutely from here down is perfect. From here up is not. The blood pressure from the heart going up to the brain, up one side or the other, <coughs> was normal. It's normal, is normal. But the blood pressure coming down the other side is where the problem is. It's high on the blood pressure returning to the heart up here. It's blocked. It's blocked up here. I've been trying to tell the doctor that for ages. I even asked Dr. Gopi Naya, you useless prick of a bastard, you know who, the angel. I told him I want a, um ultrasound over here. And he's always said to me, no, you don't need it. You don't, you don't need x-ray on your head. No, 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 no. You're not a doctor. You're a fucking drug dealer, Mr. Gopi Naya. And I'm going to have you up out of these acts for doing that to me all this time and the doctors before that. The whole lot of you are just nothing but peddlers of drugs and getting paid the more drugs you sell. I've caught you out. I caught you out in this book by recording everything with these instruments. With this instrument. Your own tools have caught you out. And this little fellow has caught you out. And this little fellow. <coughs> I've got one coming on my hand that gives all the readings. <coughs> of the heart, they didn't have one at the time, but in China. But they're sending me another one. I'm expecting that in the mail. So, take notice that the paramount chiefs of New Zealand and Pacific Islands are going to use these acts in this book I've just showed you to build the debt out of you, a trillion pounds each. You know why the trillion pounds? Because that's what I have determined. <coughs> as a native of these lands and commercial landowner with those paramount chiefs, commercial landowner, to bill you one trillion pounds each because of the birth certificate of money you've made out of the birth certificates. Right back to 1831 on my land blocks in Tiki Tiki. 
Rahui Marae and St. Mary's Church above on the hill. That church was the first commercial operation business that the British used with Captain James Reddy Clendon <coughs> Magistrate Court in Tikitiki and Whakawhitira Native Magistrate Court Tikitiki Rotoria or Hiru Harama Marae in Mount Hikarangi to frame their law on birth, death and marriage certificates as instruments, legal instruments on a stock market that King William IV set up in New York as money, security of interest, investment, bank instruments. Okay, that's how they made the money from right back 1831. Okay, so I'm linking and backdating everything back to 1820. Te for Edinburgh Magistrate Court. I'm backdating all of this law back to then, where the trillion comes in from spinning the money over 2,500% <coughs> at the highest level of the stock market. And birth, death, marriages, certificates, and also the bank spinning the money over and making money out of thin air from selling a pound note that King William III created and the Bank of England Act. As I just showed you, I just showed you, those are on our flag. That's wrapped up on a contract, private, two-party contract with the British Royal Navy in Devon, Port, England, King William, William Yard. That's where he started all the commercial contract business banking magistrate court from around the world. Got that? 1830. He took over from King George IV, his brother, at 1820 to 1830.